All right, so for those of you who aren't a fan of the liquid glass, there's options to remove it. I'm gonna show you how to remove liquid glass as well as transparency. But first, if you're not familiar with it, there it is right there. You can see it best in that folder, even on the little search box down here. But as I move this folder over that line, you can see that effect that it gives it. And this is throughout how you use your iPhone. You'll see these appear, whether it's in Control Center. If you're in Settings, you can see it in the search bar here a little bit when I pass over Apps. And it does the same thing in dark mode and light mode. It's more prominent in the dark mode here with these search bars and boxes throughout. But to remove it or to tint it, we'll start with tinting. Go to the settings application and then tap on display and brightness. And you want to make sure that you have this setting. Now, you do need to have iOS 26.1 installed for this setting to be here. And you're going to then tap on liquid glass and you can see how it looks in its normal standard clear mode and how it should look tinted. Now I'm in dark mode here, so let's give this a quick test. You can see right here how it looks tinted. It's a little bit hard to see, try to remember, and we'll go back and it's just a little bit more brighter. So honestly, everybody's making a big deal about this setting. To me, it's not enough for those people who don't like it. I mean, it looks very much the same, just with a slight tint. Now, if you want to completely turn off the transparency or turn off the liquid glass on your iPhone, again, it's a very simple process. In settings, you're gonna go down to accessibility. You're going to scroll down again, and you wanna find the option that says display right here and text size, and you want to enable the reduce transparency toggle. As soon as you do that now, Look at how these apps look. Now you don't have that liquid glass at all behind your apps. If I go back to the control center, you can see it's not there anymore. If I tap and go to light mode, you'll see its effect as well, especially in settings here. So we go back to the search bar. You can see there's no more of that liquid glass where the apps were passing through. And this was the real way to turn off liquid glass and the transparency on the iPhone. And it's been available since day one. It's always been there in accessibility and the display and text size reduce transparency. So with the tinting, I had a hard time seeing it, but I'm gonna show you a side-by-side. -side. This is my iPhone 17 Pro with the reduced transparency on, and then the iPhone 17 Air has reduced transparency off. So this is how it looks. Now, I'm going to show you in a couple of areas that are mostly prominent or mainly prominent here. Obviously, this bottom bar, your dock, you can see how it looks with the liquid glass here and with the transparency reduced here, so it's off. If we flip over to pages here that have folders, you can see how my folders now don't have the liquid effect like they do on the iPhone Air. Additionally, control center now, you can see this is the difference. The blurred background, the circles with the little bit of liquid glass surrounding them. They're more prominent. They look like how they did with iOS 18 for the most part. And then lastly, in settings here, you can see in light mode how it looks with uh, the transparency reduced here and with it off. We'll flip these both over to dark mode because again, more prominent, more prominent in how this is going to look you can see it definitely has that different effect here. So I don't know what Apple's thinking with the setting here in the display and brightness where they're saying you can actually tint the liquid glass from clear to tinted. It looks so dramatic in this image, but then clear and you slide over, like I'm not seeing it. I just don't see it. And I don't, like it's so little in that corner. I don't know. I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing this tint actually in effect. Maybe I got to really put side by side, but for something that small of an option, it shouldn't have even been here in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you actually find this tinted or clear effect that Apple added to change the preferred look of liquid glass? It even says it right here that clear is more transparent revealing the content beneath. Tinted increases the opacity and adds more contrast, which I don't notice at all. Also, I'm not trying to promote anything, but this is the case I'm using for the iPhone 17 Pro. It's an orange case and it goes with my phone. Everybody's been asking me about it. So there it is. The link to it is in the description. It's on Amazon. It was like the cheapest one I could find, but it's pretty hefty 
and it's strong, has a really nice look, protects the camera. And I think their new version actually has proper button for camera control because this one, you can't really access the camera control button, but it's there. I get a small commission, a few cents probably if you buy through that link. Otherwise, just buy it wherever you want. That's the one I use. But that's it. That's my iPhone 17 tutorial here teaching you how to turn off transparency on the iPhone and how to turn off or disable liquid glass on your iPhone with iOS 26. Like I said, I want to know what you guys think if you actually can see a difference between the tinted or the clear because a lot of people are posting videos like this is such a dramatic setting that has been changed. I'm not noticing it. Maybe my phones are broken. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. The full iPhone 17 tips, tricks, and tutorial playlist with tons of iPhone tutorials to help you get the most out of your iPhone is in the video description, so check that out. Also, you wanna customize these phones, the lock screen like mine, the home screen like this, dark mode apps, and things like that. Those two videos, I just posted them on my channel. I'll link those in the video description as well. Any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.